So I'm at A and N Collectibles, my very first local card shop. So when I started collecting again back in early 2021, first thing I did was Google sports cards on Google Maps, and this is the first place that popped up that was the closest to me. Even though back then it was still about like 20 minutes away, and this is the first place that I came in to buy boxes of cards to buy supplies. This is Aaron Tom, owner of A and N Collectibles here in San Dimas, California. How long have you owned this shop? Oh, we're going on about 15 years now. Welcome. It was our uh, our hobby that we turned into more of a passion, you know, and never thought I'd own a shop, but I do now. Uh, how long have you been collecting and who do you collect? I've been collecting for probably a good solid 40 years. I remember putting together like when Pokemon first came out, putting together sets. I wish I still had them, but I put together some sets. Early Jordan and Kobe and it was always basketball football, baseball. I tell them this is the best place to go through dollar boxes because Aaron and Nick love to rip and they have some pretty good stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the one thing. We like supporting um, when people can get just the regular cards for their collections, and, mm -hmm. you know, the, the team they like and the player they may like. And so it's good. And we like, you know, when you put out dollar boxes, you put out $5 cards, $10 cards, $1,000 cards. Uh, the kids can only afford, you know, dollar cards. And that's what we like to see is we really enjoy seeing the kids, you know, jumping in to uh, make their own collection. Like those are the stuff that you don't expect to find in this. I've gone through this. I always go through it. And every time I find something new that was not in there before. Tell us about like some events that you put together for Magic and Pokemon. Magic the Gathering was our, when we first opened the store, we understood Magic. We knew about it. Uh, now we have like commander nights, Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights. We get a bunch, you know, big group, 20, you know, 30 people that come in and play it. Uh, Pokemon, we do uh, like all the pre-releases and things like that. But we also do a Pokemon event the last Sunday of the month. And we get just uh, kids, you know, parents. Everybody kind of comes in and enjoys themselves, has a really good time with Pokemon. Those are all free events that we just do. We just host the area, basically. But it's great. It's, it's good for the community. It's good for them to come in. When I got here, I first started, you know, coming for supplies mostly. But since I've started coming here, I've learned so much from Aaron and Nick. And from Nick especially about Star Wars. He was a big part of me, like, really getting into Star Wars and really being comfortable with uh, breaking it. Uh, I would come in here and ask him if he opened the last Star Wars set and what he thought about it, if it was good or not, or how he would break it if he were to break it and things like that. So they've definitely been a really big part of my journey. And to this day, I still come in for supplies, I still come in for wax, and I still come in to rip my own wax. And I've had some pretty great pulls here. So I always say when you come in too, I tell people, make sure Nick picks your boxes. Nick's picked the box for me where I've pulled a one of one Derek Jeter auto. He's picked the box for me where I've ripped the gold, the rock, out of a Prism undercard. All my best hits come out of here, so <laughs> if you think I get loaded boxes, I mean, they must get, they must know I'm coming here. That's why they send you the loaded boxes. If they like it, I trust that it's a good product, so. What's the best pull you've ever had in store? So we had, one of our customers pulled a Babe Ruth cut auto. We actually had two cases of, it was Dynasty, a Dynasty product that came in. At that time, we kind of wanted to see the, they had the presidential cuts, they had the Babe Ruth chase, of course. Uh, we had two cases. Somebody else came in and chose the other case. He gave them the option, pick a case. They left the other case. He came by, he opened it here. We have him on video actually opening up the Babe Ruth. He was pretty ecstatic about that hit, to say the least. And I think that's his crown jewel of his collection. How about, what's your personal best pull out of a product? Um... So my personal best pull, I did pull an Otani uh, number to 25 auto rookie. What's the case? Bo will not sign this. And the story goes, the photographer failed to get his permission for this picture. And so that's why he refuses to sign it. Whole story. Or you can have Steve over there. He says he wants to be on the camera next too. Okay. He says he'll talk all about a uh, One Piece. He's a big one piece <laughs> and how to break, how to break a box. There yeah, he's the One Piece king. Okay, good to know. Bye, guys. Thank right, you. We'll Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Oh, bro, you just came in for one thing. What's up with that? <laughs> what did I come in for? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember, but this is the good stuff that we have: National Treasures baseball and Goodwins. So we're gonna pull a Jordan Auto tomorrow right here on Fanatics.